Pingtung, China, April 9, fishing crews navigating a narrow waterway as China sends warships and warplanes to the Taiwan Strait, following Taiwan's President Tsai Ing-wen's visit to United States, considered a separatist by Beijing. He says he's worried. Livelihoods are more than politics. For years, Chinese fishermen trawling for fish, shrimp and crab played cat and mouse with Taiwanese officials as they closely followed boats near the midline of the Taiwan Strait. Villagers on the island of Pingtan in China's southeast Fujian province, just across Taiwan, say their livelihood is fishing, and while China is holding new military exercises in the strait, just 160 kilometers from its narrowest point, sea excursions are more troublesome. If I don't get fish my net, my family will probably starve," said Wang, a fisherman in his forties from Dafu village Pingtan, where his ancestors had fished for generations. Like other fishermen interviewed for this article, he only gave his last name due to the sensitivity of the situation. When Wang's boat sailed to an area half an hour from Pingtan on Friday morning, her crew brought in about 7,000 yuan, mostly red shrimp and pomfret. About 20 people worked on that boat. Wang said each fisherman earns about 200 to 300 yuan for a day's work, much less than it takes to support a family. Diesel is getting more and more expensive, and with inadequate government subsidies just a drop in the bucket, our living costs have increased dramatically, he said. China began exercises around the main island of Taiwan on Saturday as part of the exercises, which will last until Monday. Fujian Maritime Bureau also announced that live exercises were held off the coast of Fujian's capital Fuzhou and Pingtan. These activities will not deter fishermen from sailing, but the increased tension will make them more wary of approaching the midline. We use travel to open waters, but now we only fish near the shore as we are not allowed cross the red line. There is no point in risking heavy fines, said Yen, another fisherman. Straight for 10 years. Wang said he was more concerned about the end of the fishing season on May 1. The islanders, including him, scramble to seize every sailing opportunity as they prepare for a zero-quarter income. We've been fishing since we were young, and we'll fish until we're old enough to die, we don't have time to think about problems other than our personal struggles," Wang said with a slight smile. Middle Line Taipei on Saturday said more than 40 Chinese planes had crossed the midline of the Taiwan Strait, which Beijing does not recognize. Deteriorating relations frightened Chinese fishermen more than they even approached. No one dares to cross this line or even come close to it, said Yen, whose boat often sails around the resource-rich Niushan Island. Taiwan's Coast Guard has detained Chinese fishing crew members several times in the past year for illegal trawling, according to official statements. China's Taiwan Affairs Office has urged Taiwanese authorities in recent years to stop treating mainland fishermen in a violent and dangerous way and to stop confiscating fishing boats on the mainland. If we are found to have crossed the red line for trolling, the Taiwanese government could charge us hundreds of thousands of yuan, Wang said. Lin, another 53-year-old fisherman, said he hopes relations will improve. If a war breaks out, Pingtan will definitely be the front line, and if our country needs me, I will enlist in the military," Lin said as he repaired his net near their village. But I feel and hope that day will never come. Editing by Jerry Doyle